All right, here we are for the first round. We uh, won the dial. We're going to go ahead and play first. Uh, this is a pretty solid hand. Uh, we have turn one Elvish Mystic, which is really uh, the best thing you can possibly do. We're going to go ahead and keep this. Uh, Elvish Mystic into either Boon State or Fleece Man Lion, depending on, on what we uh, see going on, on the other side of the table. I'm just going to go ahead and start things off with the Mystic. One of the things that uh, that is a little bit unfortunate about this deck is that uh, in, in many cases you don't have all that much to do um, with Mystic if you do play a tap land turn two. Uh, there's no Air of, uh, because there in this particular version are no copies of Air of the Wild, which was one uh, one card that I played in an earlier version of the deck. Island, Island. All right, I don't really know what was going on with Island, Island. Uh, we're gonna scrap that to the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and attack. Curious what my opponent's actually playing here. I don't want to, I'd rather get in the damage now and leave Boon Sitter the possible stow from this position, I think. Anticipate, okay. Um, against blue decks in general, I uh, I don't want to expose Boon Satyrs. Oh, what is going on? Hmm. Well, here we can actually just, that's actually kind of interesting. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm just going to attack with my lion. What is going on? Okay, I'm gonna say go, and then probably just monstrous my lion. I'm gonna just do it while he, ante while he anticipates. There's not really all that much you could have here to stop this lion. And this is a place where Citadel Siege is actually quite powerful. Citadel Siege with lion. Okay, well he is blue-black apparently. <clears throat> um, I'm just gonna play. I don't want to like let my opponent use uh, a dissipate effectively here. I kind of just want to attack with both. Like play this, attack with both of these, and just leave my opponent choked in mana with not really able to do anything. And say go. I did play against blue-black control with Aether Spouts in the deck, so I'm going to be... Okay, you can't cast Aether Spouts now. So you could theoretically have, like... Alright. Well, I'm going to bestow Boon Sitter on Lion right now. So if he has... A counter, he can counter this. Otherwise, yeah, that's fine. Now I can Citadel Siege. All right, we win. So, looks like it's just blue black control. We didn't really see all that much of his deck. Um, but I definitely want Collected Company against Blue Black Control, I definitely want Mastery, I definitely want God's Willing, I probably want Val Valor Stance. Uh, Dromoka's Command is very weak here, uh, as is Wingmate Rock, it's just an inefficient threat. So I'd rather have just as many cheap ways to protect my creatures and uh, cheap threats to, that, I can, that I can present. Um, I have only have 23 hits for Collected Company, which is a little bit lower than I would, I would like uh, optimally if I'm going to be building a deck around Collected Company. Um, but as a as a sort of threat in this matchup, I think that it's it's still valuable as a, like sort of an end step uh, way to to, to generate uh, generate board presence. So I'm going to go ahead and just go with this particular setup and uh, see how it goes. I'd, I'd like to be able to replace Ajani, um, but I think Ajani is better than Wingmate Rock here most likely because it can make um, you know some of the smaller creatures uh, into significant threats. Being able to end step collect the company and then like Ajani like pump um, can. Uh, present a you know really meaningful uh, board presence immediately from nothing, which is pretty valuable. Um, this hand is fine. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep it. We have uh, Warden into Fleece Man. Warden's a little weird because uh, you know you, you often don't want to be spending your turn to actually pumping Warden. You'd rather be playing something else. But uh, it does give you you know more. Uh, more opportunity to have like threats on the first couple of turns, which is important, certainly in a matchup like this, especially. Mm. 
I'm just gonna play the lion and attack with the warden. So this gets basically this gets in under Silumgar's scorn or whatever. Alright, well. Um, I think I'd actually rather play a Raptor here than pump this. Although if I pump this, then I can potentially play Citadel Siege next turn. Hmm. I think I'm gonna play a Raptor. Then I, I have the, inst the threat of instant speed boon Seder or just pumping my Warden as well. It's an interesting decision. I think I'd rather have a second threat in play just to, to be more, uh, more resilient to removal. Oh, he's actually Esper. <laughs> Last game we didn't see we didn't see any white lands, so. All right, well we're gonna play this. I'm just gonna attack. Ooh, we're gonna leave this on top. Uh, Den Protector is really effective in these matchups um, to give you ways to rebuy uh, Raptors. I'm just gonna not pump. I don't want to give him effective use of his mana as removal. So here, I don't really want to play a Boon Seder into um, into a potential uh, potential Crux next turn. So I just want to attack with both of these. I don't need to develop my board more. I could like uh, flash in a uh, bestowed Boon Seder, but that leaves me vulnerable to like him just you being able to use his mana for a counter spell right now, which I'd rather avoid. Right now I'm just hitting for six, so that's fine. And if he plays something like Crux, I can end step a Boon Seder and then play like Citadel Siege or Den Protector or whatever as well. Alright, well he's doing nothing at the moment. Uh, well I will maybe I just cast Boon Seder now? I could bestow it on Death Mist Raptor. Yeah, I'm just gonna bestow it on Deathmiss Raptor at this point, because if he kills Raptor, we have we have the uh, the siege anyway. Although I could I could just play a Boon Seder, because then if he has a removal spell, he's still taking seven damage or six damage. Hmm, it's interesting. Well, this actually I'm just gonna cast just cast this. He can use a counter spell to to stop it. You have some sort of, okay, he's playing another removal spell as well. Bio Blight, this. Okay. All right, well, we're just gonna hit him with this. Is this better than casting, just casting Siege and here for five? I think Siege may actually be better. No, hit him down to three with the Raptor and play which can then return with Boon Sayer next turn. Yeah, we're just gonna do this. He, has, he can't respond to this in any way at the moment. Well, I should have left the white up, but especially considering I do have God's Willing, I can at least bluff God's Willing. So yeah, if, even if he like wraths me, I have a Boon Seder in play. He could play like a, uh, a Silumgar. Like big Silumgar and steal this. Don't worry, this doesn't do anything. Here's probably a, a removal spell. I'm just gonna kill this. Oh, he's, he's casting dig. Okay. So I need to kill this, then I get the den protector. And flip it up if I want. Bringing this back. I still have a Boon Seder in play, so it's gonna be a hard situation for my opponent to win from. Five. 
Foul Tongue revealing Dragon Lord Somgar. All right. So let's go to five. Uh, then we're gonna go ahead and play. Cast this face down. We know his hand is is Dragon Lord Silumgar. Um so I think I may want to put like flip this face up and just return Boon Seder because I can have Den Protector Boon Seder. He can take this. Um, I think I still just lethal him then. There's no reason for me to flip it up face up right now because unless I want to play Fleece Main Lion, I could just flip it up and return Fleece Main Lion and play that. Then he then I have four creatures to his uh, guy and he's gonna die unless he. No, I think he's just he's just dead then anyway. It's probably best to say go and like leave myself the ability to flip up the boon Seder anyway. So here we'll just sack this. Yeah, because if if he plays Dragonlord Silumgar, I can just get back boon Seder. I get boon Seder on either of my guys. All right, so he, yeah, he plays Dragon Lord. Actually, this may have been, it may have actually been better, now that I'm thinking about it more, to, to just immediately get the, uh, the Fleece Man, because then I would have three threats. Yes. Face up. Okay. God's willing. That's not quite on time. Um, so if I just... Um, if I just Citadel Siege this guy and pro blue him, or pro green him, I can attack. If I just attack with both, then he has to block. I guess I can just God's willing this green and attack with it, and he has to block here. And then I just boon Seder it. I guess there's no reason to boon Seder it in that case, just Citadel Siege. Yes, I don't want to actually be able to attack with Den Protector. I want to get Den Protector back, so I'm going to play Citadel Siege. We're going to choose cons, right? Yeah, cons. Yeah, I'm going to God's willing this guy green. Green. Uh, I'll put that on top. That's pretty good. And then we will give him plus two. So he has to chump block with Silumgar, which gives me back my Den Protector. And then I say go. So now I have multiple lethal threats with Citadel Siege to pump any additional threats as well. I mean, like, if he cruxes me here, it's kind of annoying. Though I do have Boon Seder and another, uh, another Raptor that I'm drawing. What is this? It looks like Ugin. All right, we win. Yeah, Ugin. So, all right. Well, yeah, that uh, definitely Citadel Siege was, was was pretty strong there. If it had just been like my previous uh, the previous version of that, it would, this would have just been a Sorak. And if I play Sorak there, how does that go? Does it resolve significantly differently? And if I had gotten back. Lion and just played Lion instead of keeping Boon Setter in my hand. The game ends up playing pretty similarly too, 
because I just have the Citadel Siege and then draw the God's Willing. But if I didn't have the God's Willing, then would I rather have a Lion in play? Then he just steals the Lion, but he can't steal the Lion because I have Den Protector. But if I flip up Den Protector and I don't have Boon Seder, then it doesn't actually kill him. I don't know. Whatever. We won. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's go on to the next match.